up people welcome to the first clip of a new week it's monday july i'm not even sure 21st got my first day off from working at the gas station uh which i'm like maybe two minutes away from the way i'm walking uh took titan out for a walk I really m miss the feature of me being able to just swap uh, swap sides that this thing is facing. A good portion of last week's vlogs were all recorded in fast motion for some reason. I really hate Samsung's user interface for the camera system now. It sucks so much. I don't know what they were thinking and I don't know why they don't just switch it back. But I wish I could get the old app back somehow. I'll have to look into that. Hopefully it's not recording in fast motion right now. Anyways, it's a nice day out, like I said. I'm just taking him for a walk. My dad's in Oklahoma. We're on his way to Oklahoma uh, to go and work on the house, or our friend's house. Uh, and... What else? Uh, oh, I have an interview of Teletech again on the 25th. So cross your fingers. I really want that job, especially if it pays more or the same, but gives me more hours than this place does. I had to put a bunch of things online to sell because at this rate, I'm going to have my power shut off. Might get an eviction notice, gonna have the internet turned off, water turned off, everything turned off by the end of this week. Or by like, Tuesday of next week. And I don't even think that most of the stuff I put up is gonna even sell. So I don't know what I'm gonna do because I can't come up with that money. Now my brother keeps saying, so is my dad, go work at Backers, you know? But, I really feel like nobody's listening to me when I say that I'm dealing with a lot of pain. And yes, everyone's dealing with pain. Yes, I've dealt with the same pain all my life, but it's worse than ever this last year and a half, two years. And I wish I could express it in a way that would make people stop questioning me and stop doubting me and stop, but why, why, why every poll? Um, but it just seems like most people, you know, they forget that they deal with pain and how bad it felt and how annoying it is when people don't believe them. And then I wish they took that into consideration, remembered that, but also uh, applied it to other people and realized that, you know, somebody else may genuinely be feeling a lot worse than you have experienced. At the same time, it could be the other way around. I might have no idea what you're able to tolerate and what you've experienced, but I just wish there was more understanding is what I'm saying and less judgment. Cause it's very, very, yeah. for those that know me and not those that just claim to know me, those that know the kind of person I am, I always try to make things work out. I always try to do what needs to be done. And if I'm resistant, to something like making money, uh, there's a good reason. You know, I, I mean, there's a legitimate reason why I may be resistant to going to work on a cement floor for eight hours and then, and then going to work on another cement floor for eight more hours in the same day. I, I, I know many people do that. So, I know it's not uncommon, but I have a large hernia that sends like these electrical shocks up my leg and down my, or down my leg and up my abdomen when I move. And I am constantly having to push my intestines back up. And it's like, it's huge, dude. It's like noticeably, you know, even when they're not, it, it, it when, when, when the hernia really starts acting up, which is like all the time nowadays, it doesn't even have to be falling down. The intestine doesn't even have to be falling through the hole. 
it, half the time the whole area will just feel numb. Um, it'll feel like there's a ball of numbness is my best way to describe it. And that numbness is only numb in one spot. Everywhere else it sends off like electrical impulses it feels like. And they're hurt, they hurt. And they're hard to, uh, they're hard to keep a straight face through when they're happening, when they happen so much, you know? And that's not to mention the amount of pain my feet have, have had, have always had. You know, it's not like it's a new thing I'm, I'm po pointing out. Uh, what are you doing, booger? And then my back pain. See, I need to get some, I need to go see a doctor. I am very worried that there's something wrong with my back because there's a large lump like that moves that I can move around. And when I say large, I mean it's kind of probably like like that big, big as your four whatever finger that is and your thumb together. You know? Well, I mean, you get what I'm trying to say. And it's like on my lower right side and it's a part of it like feels like it's attached to my spine but it feels like that's where all my pain is coming from and it travels up my back and stuff I just wish there was more understanding I mean I feel bad about the situation I'm in I don't know man I don't know. I don't know if I'm just, I really, because people question me so much, I don't know if I'm just whining to everybody because that's what it seems like. Or if, I don't know, man. I really don't want to focus on it though. You know, I just wish people to understand more. It's difficult for me and I wish I got that recognition that I'm trying. But that's life. In life, you only get recognition for the things that are accomplished, not the things that you try to do. Your failures and your accomplishments, not every, anything in between. All right, later dudes. This vlog was supposed to be nice and cheery. Maybe we could cheer it back up. Well, I'm driving the truck home from Columbia with my, with my brother. Made it the first two miles to the gas station. Hopefully I keep making it farther. I'm pretty new to driving, obviously. Oh, how was that? Good. Sure. Oh, uh, you vlogging? I guess what? Well, my dad bought um, my uncle Josh a car and it's that one over there. He didn't really buy that for me. Yeah, he actually did. No, he didn't. Yeah, he did. work on for himself or something? No. Doesn't seem like something my brother would be open. <laughs> I need to get a haircut. Did you pretty much vlogged in here the whole time? Nope. In fact, I forgot that I was still recording. Say bye. Bye, everybody. Like and subscribe. Hey, guys. My new truck. It is a 1994 Suburban. Uh, got to do some work. Definitely got to replace the tires. We're actually, I'm going to actually be replacing the whole front end uh, underneath. I'm going to be taking off of those black guardrails and probably stripping those so they're just silver. Going to take off the clear coat and then primer it. And I don't know what I'm going to do with it after that. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to paint it a different color or just paint it flat black. Um, going to replace this. Uh, the engine's fine. I killed it yesterday watch it, or uh, listening to the radio as I was cleaning it over the last couple days. Um, let's see. I always fail to figure out how you open these. I feel like an idiot right now.
Why do they make these so difficult? There we go. It's all right. Engine was recently replaced. However, that's what they all say. I'm gonna replace the radiator because there's a slight leak in it. The battery was supposedly fairly new, but I killed it real fast while uh, listening to the radio, but that's probably because I was listening to it for like five hours. <laughs> um, let's see. All the doors work. Windows, electric, power, locks in windows, uh, with the exception of this one. This one does not work for the window at least, so I'll be replacing the motor on there. Um, I really cleaned it up the last few days. It was pretty dirty. Uh, I spent a lot of time cleaning it. That's why it took me two days to clean it. Um, I went and tore off all this stuff, power washed it, uh, and then rubbed it down, you know, with a, some vinyl stuff. And I'm going to replace this up here maybe someday. I had to glue this down because, but I don't think it worked, see. The hot glue doesn't seem to want to stick to that. And I'm not even sure hot glue would be a good idea because, you know, it gets hot in a car. Um, but I cleaned this all up. I found a whole bunch of tapes. Uh, where are they? Right there. So that's pretty interesting. A bunch of country tapes. Yeah, that's what I came out here for is the glue. Uh, toothbrushes are in there because I was using the toothbrushes to get in, which I'm not done yet. As you can see, there's still some dirt in those. I'm OCD, so that bothers me, you know. I have to get it out. Uh, but I was using toothbrushes for stuff like that. I cleaned the hell out of the dash, re-glued uh, all the hanging, uh, hanging, I don't know what that's called. Uh, I don't know much about cars, but I re-glued all the hanging stuff. Like right here, you can tell. Re-glued it up. Uh, really, really cleaned the back here, but Titan hopped in there. So there's hair in here now. Uh, and some of this stuff is like stuck in the uh, carpet. I'm going to have to come back here and pull all this out. I pulled out the, the uh, OCD in a big vehicle like this. Yeah. I would have been a great, great guy back in the day, but uh, I would have taken good care. Damn, Titan in his hair. Uh, what else? I took the third row seat out. It's got a lot of space in here. Uh, what else did I do? Nothing much. Everything works pretty much. Uh, it seems th the inside was taken care of pretty well. There was a whole bunch of food and crap inside it when I uh, first looked in it, and it didn't smell all that great. Now it smells like leather and, well, yeah, leather. Uh, driver's side, so yeah, really cleaned up over here too, but I was gluing some stuff yesterday, so little pieces of uh, the glue I cut off are on the floor. I gotta blow it out again. Gotta fix this. I got the cover, but it's all snapped. The joints that hold it are all snapped off. So I will probably find a way to glue that up too, or drill it. I don't know, but I'm good at probably glue I might get some more double-sided tape actually because then I don't have to damage anything to get it to uh got to clean in there too look at that. that that even though I might never see it that bothers me like I took these vents out and I cleaned the wells that's what I'm gonna call it the little well where the vent is the 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 I don't know what goes back into the engine I don't know anything about vehicles so um, I took a toothbrush to this whole thing, uh, really cleaned up the, up there, the dash, and I'm going to get some more polish and leather, uh, whatever, whatever the stuff is called, 
the stuff that makes plastic, vinyl, and leather all look uh, nice. I'm going to replace this, though, because it's cracked, and I don't like that. Or I'll just get a cover. It might be cheaper just to get a cover than it would be to replace it. But I may, if I, if I keep this and I just keep restoring it so it looks real good, I don't know if it'll be all, like, restored to look original, but I'm going to restore things to make it look nice for me, you know? You know what would be really cool? And I thought about this, and I told my brother this idea years ago. But uh, it'd be really cool. I paint this black, okay? Or I get a black covering put on. I don't even have to do that. I could just leave it the color it is. But do fiber optic stars all throughout it. So it looks like twinkling stars on the ceiling. That would be really cool. might want to do it just from this section back that way I don't get distracted as the driver and I'm guessing this at one point in time had a DVD player built into it because oh no it's why did I think that there was a reason I thought that but I legitimately cannot remember why I thought that um, yeah, look at this. It's, well, it's 1994. They didn't have DVD players, so probably not. But I'm going to upgrade the stereo. I'm going to keep the tape deck. The tape deck works. I'm going to upgrade the stereo eventually with uh, maybe a Windows OS or an Android. Uh, oh, not even showing you the, or an Android, uh, uh, display uh, I'm gonna redo the lighting in there because they either don't work or they are finicky because it was a pain to get them to turn on and then they weren't really all that bright uh, I none of the interior really needs to be replaced maybe shampooed um, and even if shampooing doesn't pull out the stain I'm not actually that incredibly concerned about it i mean i can deal with it i get seat covers uh yeah i mean i might do some led strip lighting along the along the underside of like that or the outer window that'd be kind of cool but uh, I want to do it in spots that the strip lighting won't be visible, so I got to figure that out. <laughs> I could definitely do it. I could do LED lighting under the dash. Yeah, I don't know. But uh, I've got plans. I've got a lot of cleaning still to do, like these vents. I haven't cleaned this yet. Uh, apparently I missed that too. Most of what I've gotten is all of that, that door, and all of the back cleaned. All the vinyl and the, uh, well, there's really no leather, but all the vinyl has all been cleaned on that side, back over here. So really it's just this door and that door over there, the uh, same thing that's there. Um, and then I will work on getting like down here cleaned up. Uh, I already went and spray wash or power washed the door panels uh, and then applied or grease to each of the areas to make or to each of the joints along the whole truck uh, to make the doors easier to open because they were kind of difficult. I'm going to be replacing this because it's kind of loose or I'm going to find out what it is on the inside that I need to tighten up to fix that. Still got to clean that. I think I already said that though. Uh, got to clean along there, figure out, uh, closed right this time. Uh, that door, sometimes it doesn't close hard enough to, uh, fully lock it. Uh, got it. I'm going to replace that. I'm going to stick some compound on each of those. I don't know what they're called, but I'm going to call them tie down points, you know, secure points. <laughs> if you want to tie something down in the back. Uh, and then jam a screwdriver up under them and make it so that they're movable again because they're all, like, rusted down. 
Uh, shampoo the carpet back here. Uh, I'm not terribly concerned about replacing it because my dog will be getting in here and stuff when I drive or go places and I want to take him with me so and he's a husky so there's no point uh, I gotta clean I think I still need to Paul or uh, rub some uh, vinyl re finish on it see how it's like shiny there but it's all dull here uh, on that side and right there on that one uh, I already cleaned all of the all of the armrests and stuff these seats i these seats i'm not terribly concerned about because it's the bottom of the seat so you know i mean i could i could replace them but i don't know if it's necessary granted most of the time these seats are all going to be down but if i'm going to be showing it off intentionally ooh, i got to get right there look at that that is gross uh, and it surprises me that the power wash doesn't actually get everything off. Uh, these will be up anyways, if I'm showing them off. I don't know. Uh, crap. There we go. <coughs> <coughs> Almost <coughs> tripped on myself. Alright, I don't know if it's intentional, but... This door I have to shove in really hard and then pull out as I'm pulling the, uh, gotta fix that. As I am pulling it open. And this one, I think it's natural, but you have to push it in the hole to open it. Sorry, I had to stick something in my mouth. Uh, I think the WD-40 worked against me in this case because now this door just does not want to stay open. Just. It's loose now, but like this one, you know. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't really know why I came back here, but just to show off the back end. I still got plenty of cleaning that I want to do. Not that's necessary and stuff, but gotta probably come back here if the toothbrush get that. I did clean it already, but apparently I missed some stuff. Uh, I'll probably get this stuff out. Because that stuff annoys me. And I got to get right there again. I, these are all spots I cleaned already, but apparently, uh, apparently I still managed to miss some spots. I even was cleaning in between these. But there's still lots of uh, mud, dirt, and grime that's in there. I think I got this side pretty well. Yeah, see? You think you did a good job, and there's still lots of crap. I'm also, I gotta fix that too, it's slightly bent. I'm also going to be replacing the metal trim. Um, maybe those, probably. But see, this exterior cosmetic stuff is not a priority for me. Uh, I'm gonna be replacing all of the lighting with uh, LED lights. I was going to get myself a Knight Rider uh, thingy, just because I'm a nerd, uh, but I was told that that is actually against the law, which is surprising. I didn't know that. Yep, yeah, and there, so there she is. My 1994 Suburban. Now, it seems to have different markings on it. Like one of these doors, I swear I thought I saw it say Yukon. But, uh, <laughs> like this says Silverado, but it's actually a sil Suburban. See, on the back it says Suburban. So, and I'm pretty sure I saw a Yukon written on one of these doors. But apparently I'm tripping. Apparently, many, many of the parts from this, or for this, all right, all right, what I'm trying to say, my brother's Tahoe over here, apparently many of the parts that go to that are compatible with, uh, with the truck, with the, uh, Suburban. 
I could see why. Though I think the Suburban might actually be a little bit bigger. Or considerably bigger. I don't know. That's weird. I think the Suburban may be a little bit bigger. But there you go, you guys. A tour of my new... Uh, and I left the uh, hot glue out there that I needed. But uh, a tour of my new truck, my new passion project. And uh, most of all, my brother bought this for me. It was a unexpected gift out of nowhere. And you guys know how I am about gifts and things that people get me. I take really good care of my stuff. Like, I might come out here later tonight and do some more scrubbing on this thing. Like, this is my OCD right here. You see that? Before I'm done, spaces like that will be perfectly clean. <sighs> They'll be spotless like the rest of the truck. Because that's me. And that is a curse. Believe me. I mean, yeah, it means that you got nice looking stuff, but it's really frustrating. Like, I even need to have these things cleaned. I thought, you know, some of this stuff I feel like actually stains into the uh, leather slash vinyl or, you know, the plastic that is used. I think it stains into it. And... Just about nothing I do was going to fix it. Last night I had to glue this back on because it was terribly put on there. It was just double-sided tape holding it on and it still doesn't want to stay on. So I actually may replace this side panel because the broken part is actually the side panel, not that part. Eh, or I'll find something. There's a way to make that stay on that doesn't make it look ugly like in my view it is right now because that is ugly I'll get it though anyways people my brother's in Colorado with his girlfriend uh, I am off for the day I worked 11 to 3 it's at the at the uh gas station that's literally like literally like just around the corner from right what we can see so that's convenient <laughs> all right talk to y'all later thanks for watching